Inside of Premiere Pro, you have a fairly effective lens flare effect. Now, normally, I would use this on a clip if I was trying to accent something and made it look like there was some lighting. It can be a bit cheesy, but you'll see lens flares used a lot on titles, and they've had a resurgence as of late. But you can also create a pretty cool transition if you know what you're doing. Let's take a look at a finished example, and then I'll build it. In this case, I've got a flare that goes across the scene and wipes to reveal the next shot. In this case, it's really quite simple. The flare was just applied to its own piece of video. For easiest results, click the new item and choose Black Video. This will create a solid object that's filled with black. And you could position that over the footage. Now, go to the Effects Browser and type in Flare. I'm going to use the built-in lens flare that can be found under the Generate category. If you have third-party tools installed, you might find some other more robust flares. When you apply this to the black video, it's pretty straightforward. From the lens type, there are three types of flares that Premiere Pro ships with, and these simulate different types of prime lenses. They also add some color variation. You can adjust the center of that flare. If you click this icon here, you can drag and move the center physically pretty easily. Let's just put that on the center of the screen and adjust the brightness of the flare so it builds out and fills in the whole scene. All right, we hit white in the middle. I'll add a keyframe for brightness and for center. Now, go to the beginning and simply pull that off so it goes off the edge and tone down the brightness a little bit. That's pretty good there. Remember, you can zoom out to fit more in if it makes it easier to position. Let's pull that a little more off the frame and tone down the brightness. There we go. And then we'll come here to the end and pull that a little further off the frame. You know, you can curve that and tone down the brightness. In fact, if you look closely, you might have noticed actual Bezier handles here, which allow you to create a truly curved path. This can create a more natural type movement. In this case, I've got a little bit of an S curve. As it moves through and slides to the scene. Now, you might be wondering, how do we put this all together? Earlier, I showed you blending modes. This is on a black solid. The easiest way to knock out the black is to just put it into screen mode. By selecting the clip and going to its opacity controls, you could change this here and put this into the screen blending mode, knocking out the black. That works pretty well. And to avoid any pop on either side, just apply a small transition. Right click and apply the transition and then double click and choose something short like 10 frames. Remember, you can then select that and press Command or Control C for copy and press Command or Control V as in Victor for paste. Let's fit that to the window and have a look. We've got our lens flare and it creates an animated transition across the frame. Lots of things you could do here, again, changing the brightness and the position of the effect, as well as changing the style of the flare, but these are pretty cool and allow you to create a highly stylized transition that works very well for revealing titles or moving between dramatically different shots.